So the beauty of this skirt is that it can be made by anybody, whether tailor, seamstress or not, whether you have a sewing machine or not, and you can wear it as many times as possible, and you can decide to turn it back to your normal fabric and use it to sew any style that you want. Hello fashion lovers, you are welcome to another interesting video. Today's DIY is on a no sew maxi dress you don't need a sewing machine for this all you need is your fabric your hand needle and then a belt to style this and you are good to go so if it is something you want to watch you can keep watching this video and don't forget to give me a like share this video let's get started to get started you are going to be needing a piece of african print fabric so I'm making use of 6 yards, so you can make use of 3 yards, 4 yards, 5 yards or even 6 yards depending on how full you want it to be. So you want to go ahead and open it up. So I have my needle and thread. Your thread should be long enough to cover your, your actual waist circumference, like it should be more than your waist circumference. So you want to pick one end of this African print and start creating gathers on it. Or ruffle just the way I'm doing so with your hand needle you can you will start creating these gathers so you have to you know gather it till the end of this fabric you have to gather it so gathering it is as simple as ABC and it will just take maybe two minutes or less than that to you know gather every part of this fabric so you want to go ahead and gather it to the end. Did you see how it is? So after I was done, this is what I have. You can see I've gone ahead to gather it to the end. So I'll just complete the end of this. And so when I am done gathering it, you want to go ahead and secure that thread. But before then, you want to go ahead and check the gathered to know if it has covered your waist so the gathered should cover your your waist circumference plus extra three or four inches for the overlap so you want to overlap this um you know skirt you want to overlap it so it will not you know be showing your laps and all of that so you need to go ahead and measure your waist circumference and add like three or four inches to it before you secure your thread so after you are done go ahead and arrange the gathers to be equal on all sides so when you are done with that the skirt is ready so how to wear the skirt or how to style the skirt so you want to make sure the gathers are even are equal and then you want to go ahead and tie it around did you see you want to tie it like this make sure it overlap even if it is a bit so you try to overlap it you can overlap it on one side did you see you overlap it on one side then you are going to use a safety pin to hold it down i do not have any safety pin so i have to make use of pin so when you are done you want to arrange the gathers to be equal so you don't, you don't want one side to have more gathers than the other side so you go ahead and arrange the gathers and once you are done you're going to get a belt so this is the back part of it so i have two belts here so i'm going to be testing the two belts to know which one will be the best so this belt i have a video on how to create this particular elastic belt um, on my youtube channel if you want to learn how to make it you can go there and wash it so it was a bit tricky because um I needed help but I have to force and force myself until I was able to close it so this is how it is you can see this is very beautiful so the this is the first part now using the bigger belt so this is the result it gave me you can see this is very beautiful so you need to go ahead and arrange it did you see it did you see the effect did you see the skirt is actually full like very full did you see that so i'll go ahead and use the second belt to you know to 
tie this to see how it's going to be. So in case you don't have belt, I would advise that you cut like a long strip, like a belt, and then use to cover the edge. You, you tie it on the waistline and make sure the edges of the fabric is covered. So when you're wearing a smaller belt, you try as much as possible to put the edges in. So this is the end of the tutorial. The outcome was so nice. So you can try this out and let me know your thoughts on the comment section. If you find value in this video, kindly give this video a big like and share it to other people that might be interested. And if you have not yet subscribed, please do well to subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video. Till then, bye.